If you visited a restaurant in the past couple of weeks, you've likely been asked to leave a phone number. That's called contact tracing, a crucial tool in combating the spread of COVID-19. But the tracing method has raised privacy concerns among critics. Now a local company may have the answer to striking a healthy balance between public safety and privacy. The company is called Mimic Technologies. It's based right here in Vancouver. Its founder, Faye Ardramandi, joins us now to talk about her contact tracing app from San Francisco. Uh, tell us about Pandemic, Faye, and what's it all about? Good morning and thank you for having me. So as you said, Pandemic is about data privacy first. Uh, and it's an approach for contact tracing that allow us uh, to be notified if, if we were within the proximity uh, of uh, someone who were infected uh, without revealing your personal information, including phone number, email address, uh, or who you are. Right. So how is Pandemic different from other similar programs, which, as we know, often uses people's phone numbers, email addresses? And how does it differ in terms of protecting the privacy of users? Very good. So uh, the underlying technology of Memec uh, is called Hybrid Edge Cloud uh, Platform, which means that the, your devices uh, act as a cloud server. Uh, and therefore, with our approach, your data does not go to cloud. It doesn't get saved in cloud, but actually uh, a notification can be the data remains on device, the devices uh, get an address and a dynamically created address, and therefore uh, we can send anonymous messaging uh, to other people uh, when someone has been infected. And when you receive a message, again, there is no direct uh, connection with your information. Okay, very cool. So if I get a message from Pandemic, it will essentially tell me to get tested, but it won't tell me who or where I may have contracted COVID. Is that correct? Exactly, exactly. So there is no revealing of your information. We call it proximity mapping of devices versus user information. Okay, and how much control would an individual actually have over the app and how much information it might retain of theirs? Uh, you have full control over the data. Uh, in fact, this is a new mechanism that, again, is enabled by our underlying technology that you can decide on your data. And that's key because it's not about uh, you don't have permission to give information about me. Mm -hmm. So from your point of view, uh, you decide uh, if you want to share uh, your data with health authority and your ter targeted health authority, your relevant health authority and you can even decide whether they have access to just see the information on your device or copy the information so this is this is this you have full control uh, over your information and again everything initiates from the device uh, that you have and from uh, right from the device you can choose who to talk to and who to share information with Okay, and as we know, and as you know, there's been a lot of talk and a lot of controversy over these contact tracing apps. What sort of feedback have you gotten so far? Uh, so far, uh, people are actually prefer this model. I mean, everybody's concerned about data privacy. I personally, as a technologist and entrepreneur, I won't download any application that uh, that uh, share my information mm -hmm. or trace me constantly. Uh, we were invited uh, to uh, present at the Canadian House of Commons uh, with IBM, uh, with likes of IBM and Google, uh, and uh, from our uh, position, uh, we made this uh, very clear to the Canadian government that the only way that you can uh, have people download this application is by looking into their eyes and say that your data does not go to cloud. It's not about, I give you consent. It's not about, hey, I keep it safe. It's your data does not go to cloud and does not get stored in cloud. Uh, and that's the only way that you can, you can actually have people uh, uh, download the app. We are in conversation uh, with Canadian, both federal and provincial government and health authorities and we hope that uh, we believe in the transparency of the process and and we hope that uh, and we believe that uh, they put privacy first uh, as the main uh, main uh, reason for selecting the right vendor yeah and you talked about presenting this invention in the house of commons and the federal and provincial governments obviously looking at it have they been receptive in your view to this invention 
Uh, I believe they are still assessing and they're evaluating. Uh, the, the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, uh, made an announcement last month that they soon they're going to announce uh, and, and recommend strongly for, uh, for Canadians to download an app. Uh, but we also know that uh, according to the uh, recent study from uh, Insight West, 48% uh, of uh, BC populations are concerned about downloading an app that trace them. And we know that uh, adoption on any countries that launch an app has been very low, mainly because of data privacy. So uh, I believe Canadian governments, again, both provincial and federal and health authorities are still assessing uh, their approach. Okay, and as is everything in the time of COVID, time is of the essence here, especially when it comes to contact tracing. How long has this invention been in development? So the underlying mimic technology is an invention that was uh, being uh, developed for about nine years in, in full stealth mode. Uh, this is a disruptive uh, technology. It's about extending the cloud to devices. Uh, it's a patented technology. We have over 20 uh, some patents on the technology. Uh, and uh, so it's been uh, developed uh, for the past nine years. And obviously it's about uh, uh, enabling the next generation of solutions like AI and IoT and those things with our technology. But then the moment, uh, uh, starting from second, uh, third week of February, that we noticed that COVID happened and uh, contact tracing is required, we've been developing the uh, additional component to enable the application. Uh, so, and we've been engaged uh, with governments uh, since uh, second, third uh, week of February. Uh, so it's uh, it's a technology that's been developed to uh, address many uh, solutions and vertical industries, and we utilize that uh, to develop contact tracing since uh, the third week of uh, February. Faye Adramandi of Mimic Technologies, thank you so much for your work and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Have a great day.